welcome back to my another video so today i'm thinking to do a little bit of small talking about the pros and cons of living alone in hong kong and in my case i'm now living in a subdivided apartment so yeah let's get started let's start with the pros first i think number one living alone can give you a lot of freedom you can do whatever you feel like to do you can eat whatever you feel like to eat there's no one gonna be there to judge you for example if you want to stay up then you can stay up there's no one gonna be there to tell you oh it's time to go to bed if you want to go to eat mcdonald's then go to have it there's no one gonna be there to tell you oh it's so unhealthy don't have it so that's why i said living alone can give you a lot of freedom and number two i think living alone can give you more time to listen to yourself and also try to explore yourself as as what i mentioned before there's no one gonna be there to judge you to tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do so instead of having a lot of people's other people's voice in your head you only have your voice in your head so you can listen to only your voice you can pay more attention to what you really need in your life what you really want in your life even though right now you don't really have a have an exact answers but you try to ask yourself more questions about life you try to answer yourself those questions by stepping out of your comfort zone challenging yourself trying to explore yourself trying new things and it i don't know how to describe it but it just can give you so much satisfaction about life it's like you are really enjoying yourself seeing your life as an adventure and you're trying to see what you can do and see where you can go yeah that's how i feel so far i feel like living alone it kind of gives me the courage to really live my life number three i think living alone can bring you some peace in life if you have a lot of family drama it can actually bother you a lot mentally emotionally and if you live alone because you guys don't have to meet each other every single day it can not only bring you the peace in life but also to build up a better relationship between you guys because you know um distance can produce beauty so i think if your family or if you have some family drama if your parents always give you a lot of pressure living alone is actually a better choice to give yourself some peace and also to build a better relationship with them yeah that's how i feel number four i think living alone can help you manage your money more wisely since you are living alone you need to pay for everything your bills your rent fee your groceries fee and etc there are lots of expenses when you live alone so you would tend to be more careful about spending money if you don't like for example if there are some items uh, they are unnecessary you would have second thoughts before you buy them you know what you should buy and you know what you shouldn't buy so i would say living alone can actually help you manage your money more wisely now it's time to talk about the cons number one i think living alone can spend a lot of money yeah <laughs> because you need to pay for everything just like what i mentioned before i remember when i first moved out i need to buy the furniture i need to pay for my rent fee my water bills electricity bills and other bills i just feel like wow that's a lot of expenses that i need to pay for so that's why i said living alone can spend a lot of money 
And number two, I think living alone can be so lonely if you are not that kind of people really enjoy spending time to yourself because there's gonna be you, only you in the house. No one is gonna talk to you. It's gonna be so quiet. And sometimes you will feel so uncomfortable. Like you need time, you need some time to get used to that quietness. Because I remember when I live at home, like with my family, I always have someone to talk to. Like if I want to complain some things, if I want to share some jokes or some happy things I had in my day, I can always find someone to talk to. But right now, there's only me. But luckily, the thing is, I really enjoy my alone time, so I'm okay with it, the situation. But if you're someone who is not really used to that quietness or someone who doesn't really enjoy a long time I think it's, it's gonna be a bit difficult to live alone I guess Number 3 Living alone means you need to deal with everything by your own If your house has rock, mouse all other creatures or something is broken in your house you are the only one to deal with the problems and also the housework you need to do all the housework so at the beginning I think it's quite difficult for me to adjust myself to it but right now I think it's okay I mean I'm still learning I'm still learning how to be a grow up. Yeah. Number four, there'll be some safety concerns if you're living alone as a girl, especially. Um, in my case, I would try to not go out in late night. Like I'll always come back after work because I don't want to put myself in a dangerous situation. Number five, the living conditions they're not gonna be as good as when you live at home in my case so as I mentioned I'm living in a subdivided apartment there's a apartment that being subdivided by a whole apartment so the space between apartment to apartment can be so close that I can hear very clearly what other people's they are talking or what they do so sometimes it can affect my sleep quality but I think it's alright it needs time to get used to it the pros and cons I mentioned earlier they only represent my own opinion so yeah that's the end of the video I hope you guys can enjoy the video and please don't forget to subscribe, to like and also to leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, I will see you in my next video.